an episode of House of Magic. I am going solo today and um, starting a new little mini series within our channel. Um, not solo, I have Percy, of course. Um, Eric is finishing up his hard last semester of school, and so he's not going to be able to join me for this series at first. But it was a series that I felt was really important to get started. So um, I'm going to do an introduction to it, and then we'll start episodes of it soon. Um, <laughs> Percy maybe will be trying to go to sleep, fingers crossed. Um, but once again, my name's Cassie, I'm the mama house here. We've got Nala in the back, and then the baby house right here. And the new series that we'll be starting and introducing today is going to be our small YouTuber spotlight. So you'll see that we're in a different place. This is actually our bedroom. And this is what I like to call my pumping corner. Um, little Mr. Percival is what we call a lazy eater. So what that means is that he, when he eats, he sucks and then kind of stops and contemplates what he's eating and then he sucks some more. So he's a bit of a foodie. Yeah, are you a foodie? Yeah. Um, and that makes it really hard to nurse, but I still want him to get all the nutrients. And so we've been pumping, um, and that means I spend about a half hour, five to six times a day pumping to make sure that he has all the breast milk that he needs. Um, so I spend three hours a day here in this corner, and you know, there's not much you can do. And so I spent a lot of time watching YouTube. And one of the things that I wanted to do was watch some smaller YouTube channels that, you know, were just getting started, didn't quite have the subscriber base, maybe aren't partners with YouTube yet, so they're not even making money on it. They're just doing it for the love of the hobby, much like Eric and I do. And I found it was nearly impossible to find new YouTubers. It was so frustrating. You can't just search on YouTube for like new YouTubers because all you get is the big YouTubers talking about <laughs> how to be better at it or something. Um, I even tried um, sorting. I was using my phone, of course. I tried sorting by subscribers, views, like lace to greatest, and it still only showed me these million dollar or million subscriber, million view um, videos, which was so frustrating. I wanted to watch new YouTubers. I wanted to see content that isn't inundated with millions of subscribers and millions of comments, and they're making thousands upon thousands of dollars. So. I did some research and found, even with my research, it was pretty hard to find new YouTubers. Um, the sources I've been using are Reddit, Instagram. I've been using a lot of uh, tag searches on Instagram, Twitter, and what I'm hoping is that as this channel gets going, I'll be able to use you guys and you can recommend to me your favorite small channels. So we follow a lot of Magic the Gathering people and there's a lot of small, really great Magic the Gathering content out there. But I didn't want it to be just Magic the Gathering because I, we're, as you may have seen in our last video, um, see it here hopefully, um, we're expanding our channel and so I want, uh, I want to expand the videos that we'll be featuring in this too. I want to make sure that we have a, a good, a varied amount of videos for the user base. So each video will feature one small Magic the Gathering video, uh, one small Magic the Gathering channel. Each video will have two small non-Magic the Gathering YouTubers. And then, because I make the rules and I can break them, we'll have one big YouTuber who I'm just obsessed with. Um, maybe we won't always do that, but we'll have one big YouTuber that I love, just so that you guys can get an idea of what I'm watching, or maybe you guys can find your next new favorite YouTuber. Um, it'd be great if they were small, but if you need something big to watch too, there's always that option. Especially because the big YouTubers are going to be a little more reliable at uploading content more frequently because their job they can make the money on it so um, Percy and I have discussed the rules at length yes and so here's a few of the rules that we'll be following um, of course there are loose rules and they always can be broken but these are the rules that we're choosing to kind of base this series off of first off all small channels must have under 1500 subscribers so to become a partner on YouTube, you need to have a thousand subscribers and so many watch minutes in a year. Um, I figure 1,500 subscribers, we're going to get those people that are either just now starting to become partners or they're not partners at all, and they're nowhere near partners for many of them. Um, this is important because they're not making the money off of it. They're doing it for the love, and I think those YouTubers are really the pure YouTubers. Um, the other thing is that we're maybe at 100 and some odd subscribers. We're not even to 200 subscribers in this channel. Um, I wanted to support YouTubers kind of in our similar situation. Um, 
yeah, maybe it's a little selfish to say like, hey, look, these guys are like us and they're just as good or small YouTubers can be good. <laughs> yeah. But um, for me, it was just important to set that frame and maybe that frame of subscribers will change as we go along. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Um, I make the rules and I can break them. Hey. Um, the other thing that's important for me besides, you know, the limit of just one magic per video is um, the fact that I would want to subscribe to them or when Eric joins that he would want to subscribe to them. I see a lot of channels that I just have no interest in and it's my channel and I want to I want to support people that I actually watch. If I don't watch them I feel like I'm being fake in suggesting them. Um, I'll be honest I'm not huge online game gameplay videos. I think there's a million of them and I just can't watch someone play a game for hours upon end unless they're very entertaining. If they're entertaining though, absolutely I will subscribe. Um, I'm not a big fan of, you know, just the music ones. Um, if I was gonna listen to music, I would do that on like Spotify. So people who are doing covers aren't necessarily my favorite. Not to say they aren't good, they're just not what I'm into. Eric loves watching Fortnite players. And so when he joins, maybe we'll have a few more Fortnite videos featured. But until that happens, it's gonna be a lot of what I like. And I'm telling you guys, I'm spending hours upon hours finding some of these. It's very important to me that these people be, you know, uploading content. If they haven't uploaded a video in six months, I'm not going to feature them. And there's someone that I want to subscribe to, and there's someone that I'm happy and proud to be subscribed to. So, this is just the intro video. I hope to have uh, episode one getting uploaded within the next day or two, and then I have hopefully enough content to be uploading things pretty frequently within the next few weeks, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, we'll see how this little guy grows and how busy he keeps me. And then we'll also see how Eric's schooling is going um, as to when he can join us. Yes. But thanks so much for tuning in. Please, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you press that little bell if you want to receive notifications, especially when these videos come out. And in the comments down below, if you have a channel that you think would work well in this setting, Link them down below. I want to be I want to be inundated. I want to be flooded with small channels that I have to check out. I want to be I want to have more channels that I have time to look at. So please hit us up, share this link with your friends, especially your small YouTuber friends, and keep an eye out because it's going to get going soon. And I really hope y'all will love it. Thanks everyone. Bye.